Honestly, I am very tired um, and I still have to digest the two shocks that I had today. The last minute of Brazil versus Serbia is on, but it seems that yeah, Brazil is through to nothing. Switzerland is also through in second place. They are now ahead against Costa Rica 2-1. Um, yeah, uh, Switzerland and Brazil will finish level on points, which I think is some surprise. And yeah, maybe Brazil will make a third now. Please Neymar, don't make it. Bravo. So, um, yeah, I think Brazil looked very good. Cannot say it's any other way. And what really impressed me the most is not the flopping by Neymar, who is impressed by that. No, what impressed me the most is that at the moment when it seemed that Serbia might get something around the 60th minute with two chances. They go right down, corner kick, goal, 2 nothing, game over. And game over here now too. So Brazil has officially won 2 nothing, And I think Switzerland the same, 2-1. Um, yeah, I think the goal, uh, the first goal by Brazil came also in a phase where it was kind of still even. You know, so we tried to get a grip on the game, and uh, but you could always see that Brazil has an idea of how to play. They had control of the ball, um, so everything was going uh, their way. But still, there was maybe a slight chance that Serbia could have gotten something. And then this deep pass on Paulinho, who just catches Stojkovic off guard, pulls out his leg, lobs it over him. I thought it was in a way a very Brazilian goal. Uh, this body control uh, is not something you see a lot with European teams, to be honest. Yeah, I think Brazilian, Brazilia, Brazil, oh, I'm already talking half German. I'm very, very tired. That's why I make already this video and I will go to bed right afterwards. We'll post it tomorrow. Um, Brazil looks to be the team to beat. Uh, they have an idea how to play, they are solid, they even, I think Marcelo left today the game early, probably hamstring or something pulled, he didn't look good, might be out for the tournament, I don't think this will bother him that much. They also feel confident enough that yeah we go in first place now, I mean we don't have to play Germany, Germany is out uh, and whether we pay, play Belgium or England we don't care, as Brazil we should be better. And then, yeah, whoever's in the upper bracket also uh, does not seem to be a threat for Brazil. And if you're in the semifinals, you are anyway expected to play a strong team. So, yeah, that's that. Neymar is celebrating himself. Uh, he had also a little few flops in there. Um, I don't know if you read about the bar in Rio that every time Neymar falls, um, they get a for give a free round to all the customers. I don't know how far they will go. I think there were two uh, two instances where he was acting out quite spectacularly. Should have already made for a hell of a drunk bar. Um, I want to acknowledge Switzerland. I know I said at the end of my Germany video that I think Costa Rica can get something, but you know, Serbia never threatened. But to be honest, I think the whole Serbia campaign and it's very hard to say so but it hinged on that one penalty I, if that penalty is given uh, Serbia gets a lead maybe Switzerland comes back but they're not losing the game and they are better and more in the game uh, maybe with the draw it would still be that uh, Switzerland goes through because they had to draw against um, Brazil but still uh, if I was a Serb, I wouldn't feel very very happy about how the whole thing went. I don't want to go into the comments uh, made afterwards. I think they're ridiculous and that's exactly the type of comments that make the Serbs not the most liked people in Europe in general. So for that reason, yeah, we're not wiser words if um, they would keep it a little bit down and just let them their actions speak, I think they would have a good case 
by themselves and maybe more people would like them. That's my personal opinion. Um, yeah. That was that. So what about the shocks? Well, the one shock is Germany, which yeah was not too much a shock in the sense that you know I don't have to recover. The other shock is of the bigger shock for me personally was of course Milan being um, banned from European condition uh, competition. I'm not gonna go into that now. Uh, last thing, jersey matchups. Um, yeah, this time I got them all right. It was not too hard. Maybe sir, we could have played in white, but I actually liked red against the yellow of Brazil, and then you had uh, Switzerland, of course, all in red, and then Costa Rica can only play in white, so it was no surprise there either. So yeah, again, maybe Costa Rica could have played in red against Brazil, but it made maybe somewhat sense what they had. So let me know what you thought about all that. I will run my simulations now and I will go to bed, get a good sleep and yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna post some more projections and probably there should be a video on thoughts about how I think, what I think about Germany exiting the tournament and yeah, I will talk to you soon. Yeah, I'm not quite done yet. I just saw that Costa Rica got the equalizer, so Switzerland, Costa Rica 2-2, yeah, as I said, I think Costa Rica might get a result, but it's not enough for that would have Serbia put through and maybe Serbia and Brazil, whatever. I just want to say that I also wanted to comment, yes, you probably have noticed I'm not wearing a soccer jersey, it's cold. So, wearing a hockey jersey, I know it's not right, but it was also not right to wear Argentina today. Um, and my daughter picked already that I should wear the other Argentina tomorrow. She wants to do that. Let's see if it's cold. I might still stay in a hockey shirt, jersey. So, yeah, just wanted to say that. I'll talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and until next time.